We love hip hop. Oh, there's one more thing I want to address quick fast. And then we'll get out of here. One more thing. Dame Dash. Rockefeller, y'all. That auction is still going down a couple days from now. On the 26th, if I'm not mistaken. Let me pull this up. It was on Hot 97's Instagram page. I'll pull it up on the screen so y'all can see what I'm looking at. Dame Dash wants to add an extra offer to... um. Ooh, why he's broke? Explain. Why are you broke, bro? I'm broke. Um, investing in my dreams. You know, when you're investing in your dreams and you dream big, you're always going to be broke. You'll have a lot of shit, but I don't have no money for nobody else. That's facts. That's what you call broke. But that's what it is. Long but either way, I'm going to get with y'all. Stay tuned. I'm curious to see how it all rolls out. But, uh, you know, if we got Somebody asked me how I got so broke. So he said the other day, and this is from a couple days ago now, he's going to add a two Rockefeller chains for anybody who bids over $10 million for his one-third of the Rockefeller shares. Okay, 33.3% is getting auctioned off on the 26th, if I'm not mistaken. And with that, you're going to get reasonable doubts. You're going to get the Rockefeller catalog. And the starting bid for the um, auction for that 33.3% is 1.3 million. However, Dame Dash says anybody who bids over 10 million will get two original rose gold and the platinum Rockefeller. Maybe this is white gold. It's probably white gold. Rockefeller chains. Listen to what he got to say. As we all know, one third of Rockefeller Inc., which owns reasonable doubt is for sale. And I've gotten a lot of calls, a lot of offers. I, I don't know if people are hummer stunting, you know, or, or not. We'll see who shows up, but I definitely got some very healthy offers and I appreciate those. And, you know, obviously if someone's trying to hate on the price or trying to uh, devalue it, it would be because they want to buy it, you know, like a first right of refusal. So if you do want to buy, uh one third of rockefeller inc you are gonna have to bring some bread and anything over 10 million i'm gonna sweeten the pot you get an original rockefeller chain from off my neck rockefeller so, you know i say because i was the only one that gave out rockefeller chains when rockefeller really existed if i don't give you the chain it's not a legit rockefeller chain facts you get one of these this is legit chaining day this is the old school one from off my neck you know, like how when I took one off my neck and gave one to Kanye. With the neck grease. Cameron, all that. So, again, if you're going to call, please have the intention of spending some real money and actually completing the transaction. But uh, if you come with the right amount of money, you're going to get a chain. Or, you know, at least you'll have to battle with Homeboy on the first right of refusal. Ooh. Who's homeboy? Who's he talking about, gang? Who's homeboy? So, on the 26th, like I said, the auction is going to be going down 33.3% of Rockefeller Records, including with a $10 million bid, two chains. Two chains. Now, here's the thing. In a few years from now, because of the length of time that uh, Rockefeller Records has been out of, I guess that percentage of that Rockefeller Records has been out of Jay's ownership, in a certain amount of time, everything is going to revert back to Jay-Z and Biggs, okay? They're going to be able to absorb that 33% or 33.3% in the next five to 10 years, within the next 10 years. So whatever percentage that somebody goes and bids on right now, on August 26th, and I, I just hate to break it to you, okay? Whoever walks away with that, they're only going to be able to profit off of that for a certain amount of time. It's not for perpetuity. 
You're not going to be able to own that 33.3% 3, 33 forever. After, and listen, I'm not going to go look it up, but I'm just going to shoot a number out there. I think it's five years from now. All of that reverts back to Jay and Biggs. So even if they don't buy the shit, they're still going to get it back in the end of the day. If I'm wrong, I'm just let me know if I'm wrong. I, I'm okay with being wrong. But these guys are going to get that shit back anyway. So in that space of time, what you going to do? Try to license the shit? You know, let me see if I can license some of these songs to some people. You know what I'm saying? To somebody who's, who wants to use Hard Knock Life or Can't Knock the Hustle for a movie or something. I got to go check with Jay and Biggs, though. No, they said no. We don't want to do it. God damn. Can't make no money there. Right? So, you know, somebody wants to use Sunshine. Remember that song? Without my sunshine. Right? Trash music video. Okay song. But would be great in a car commercial. When you're driving a, a RAV4. Perfect. Can we use that? They're, they're about to give us. 30 million to use that song. Hold on. Let me check with Jay and Biggs. Uh, no playboy. Yeah. Jay said no. Foiled again. Can't make no money off of it there. And then five years later, Jay, sa Jay says, uh, bring it back over here. Let me, let me take that. You still need them Rockefeller chains? You want, you, you want those? I'll buy those off of you. And then the whole shit is done. So I asked you guys in the chat over here, is Dame Dash scamming us? Right now, 80% says yes. 20% says no. Okay, there's some people out here who believe he's being forthright. He's being honest with the people. Okay, and listen, I'm not trying to box no food out of Dame's mouth, take no money out your pocket, B. I understand he got bills to pay. He needs to make sure that this sells. And keep in mind, he needs to make sure that it sells for the highest bids possible so that it can cover as much of the debt that they're needing to cover when this shit sells. He can't, you can't have somebody bid 3.5 million and then everybody silence. And then the person, 3.5 million sold. That's brokey shit. Somebody has to walk out of that auction and say, yo, I spent 50 million to get this shit. Now I own one third of Rockefeller. And if that 50 million is done, sold 50 million to you over there in the corner. All the dame's debt wiped out. So of course he's gonna be like, yo, if you bet if you, anybody who bid over 10 mil, I got the Rockefeller. I'm gonna put it on your neck. I'll be right outside the auction, like, yo, there you go, bro. You earned it. Yeah, of course he's gonna say that. Because he wants it, it has to sell at least 10 million. 10 million is probably what he needs exactly to cover all of that shit. All of the, the back payments and everything that he owes. So if somebody buys it for 12 million, hey, he ain't going to be able to hold nothing. I'm sure he's, you know, they're going to be like, yo, no, 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 you can't have nothing. He actually owns the shit now. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga needs to at least have that shit sell for 10 million at that auction. Okay. So pray for Dame. I think he's scamming, but he's not scamming. He's just trying to make sure to get the money up on that bid. He's got bills to pay. Louder, man. We love hip hop.